What is good people? Welcome back to another video of the Cabby Project. Today we're going to be finishing off the thing that we were supposed to do before but we ended up spending too much time on the tailgate latch. <clears throat> In the previous episode you would have seen that we made some custom, well not really custom but some DIY Hella or Reds. They were the damaged set so they they can get thrown in the bin. Um, we'll probably make a start on tinting two now. Um, I've got a little list of things I need to do. I'm not sure if I'll get it all done in today's video, but if I do, you'll see it all. If you enjoy these videos, give it a like and subscribe. And also, there's not enough of you guys on the Mark Free Golf Reddit. So go over to Reddit if you have got one. If you haven't, sign up and search for Mark Free Golf. Put all your cars in there. It's just a place to share your projects and it's kind of a better way for us to communicate share pictures and you know if you need our advice from there uh, I can put pictures into there obviously when you guys are asking for advice I can only describe so much without even to show you a picture so yeah go ahead over to the reddit and let's crack on so obviously that's pretty much the state we're in at the minute we just need to finish off the sides to be fair we need to tint both because I've like I said that they need to go in the bin so I'll be throwing them away straight away um, on this list, front lenses, the front lenses are cracked, and if you can see them, there, and there, we have some donor ones from the, whoops, we have some donor lenses here from the estate which we'll be just chucking on just for now. I would like to put them on, but they look even worse because they're not painted. So we'll just put the lenses on for now. Bonnet cable, I still need to fit. Uh, rear lights, I need to empty these stakes. It's got lots of crap in it. And that should be it for today's task. That's about the second coat. I'm just gonna keep going until I get some good coverage. In the meantime, we're gonna make a start on the bonnet cable. Now, Lazy Lewis should have got both pieces, but I only got the piece that goes from here into the car because as you can see here, that's broke from this one. It's all intact. Now, from when they've kind of bodged it to get it to stick outside, obviously this cable is a little bit worse for wear. Now, this probably could last until the life of the car, but it's one of the easiest cables to replace. So we're going to do it. I'm going to do that one first, obviously, because I don't have this piece. But if we do that one, and then we can at least connect it up so we can still operate the bonnet without having to shove the cable out of this and carry more grips with me.
something was bound to go wrong. Um, there's supposed to be a stud there. Where is it? It's under here somewhere. Where's it gone? Yeah, so this snapped off. However, we should be able to get it welded. But I'm still going to build it up because I don't want to leave it like this. I'm going to have to drive it to wherever it's going to get welded anyway, so I'll just rip off the scuttle panel and then get it welded. For God's sake. We have finished the bonnet cable. It was a little bit more awkward than I did think, but we're going to try it. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> I am celebrating because that is one thing off the list. However, there's probably another 70 things to address. We do need to fix the stud. I was panicking, but I'm all right now. I've got a friend at work who knows how to weld, so I'm going to ask him if I bring this car to work, if he just does a couple of spot welds where the stud is, and then I can just put it straight back on. No problems. The reds are still... Well, I kind of went ahead with the bonnet cable while I was doing these. Um, I just need to sand them down and keep building up coats. This one is very smooth. This one feels a little rough, so... I'm just going to keep sanding it, spraying, sanding it, spraying it. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, mate. I really want some purples. I'll have to see if I can get hold of some purple spray. Wheel swap. I didn't get a chance to do it today. I might do it tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I've got the whole of the week to get the wheels done in time for rolling retro. I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. And then empty the estate, which I didn't do, but... It doesn't matter, we've got things done. We've got a couple of spare seals down here. I might, I might make my own because I did it with the the ones that are on the estate now, they didn't have any seals or there was crumbling away one of the two. I used the old seal to make a new one. So, and it's not leaked since. So, must be doing a good job. So yeah, I might start making um, some some seals. So obviously these have been clamped down before there's no guarantee that they will seal again so and also i don't like how it's joined it's like glued together whereas the one i'll do will be one piece so none of it will be glued together but yeah that's today's progress and we'll see you in a minute right today's plan we are switching oh actually i forgot about the reds <laughs> fair enough we need to be chucking the steels on the cabinet because this car is the most unlucky car i've owned probably since no 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 i can't say that actually i owned them two jet as they were the worst cars anyway this car has been non-stop niggle annoying things first problem was a puncture slow puncture which yeah we, we all know what happened with that we had a blowout needed to put a new tire on the tires were wrong that were on the car in the first place so then we put the right size tyres on, then I realised that I needed to do both fronts. Cool. Did that, no problem. Got home, puncture on the back, unrepairable. Now, this tyre, which I believe was the blowout one, started leaking again. I thought, okay, no worries, take it back to the shop, they'll sort it. They did. It's still leaking. So I've had it with these wheels. I'm just gonna run it on the steelers um, to get it to rolling retro. By the time you've seen this video, rolling retro would have been and gone. But I really do hope it was a good day. Future Lou, all the best. Okay, these look 
ridiculous. Look at him in the sunlight. Sheesh kebab. Don't worry about the little blemishes. That's supposed to be there. That's just part of the actual light itself. Uh, that. And then one there on the standards. So that's normal. There are a few nibs in it. But to be honest with you, I couldn't care less. Because they cost me six quid plus some lacquer. And they're going to look ridiculous on it. We're just going to put them on there. I can't go away. Are you ready? Oh, yes. I think they look amazing. We're taking the cabbie out. We'll probably put the cabbie in front of the estate. Um, and then the cabbie is ready to go to work. I'll load up the wheels in the boot or wherever I can find space. And then I need to kind of sort this abomination out. Um, I'm still trying to look into why the windows won't go up on the switch, but they'll go down. But they'll lock from that door. That door's broke, so that won't work. Hmm. But we've got the all reds, people. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, let's get this out. two cars are swapped over while I have the motivation I need to spray up this VR splitter again that's on the estate because I've been meaning to do it for the longest time now where is it there we go it uh, yeah it needs doing much better right let's whack these on and we'll see you tomorrow Oh yes, look. <laughs> ah, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So today's mission, we need to sort out the situation on the slow puncher. Once that's done, I'll get the wheels put back on. Uh, we need to wash all the inside of this car. We've then got some oil in there from the Reliant that we drained, so I just need to empty that into an oil drainer. There is no fuel in this car, so I need to get fuel. Bloody last minute, Lou, all the flipping time. Look where the bloody fuel gauge is. What an idiot. But it's okay because, yeah. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. <sighs> bloody hell. Let's do this again, shall we? And I get caught again. You can't write this, people. Oh yes, quick look, look at the reds, looking good. Just give the car a little clean, just to dash some water over it. So when we wash it tonight, or after work, it's a little bit easier to clean. Obviously all the inside needs hoovering up and cleaning. And back to normal. Put in the comments down below, how long do you reckon before the tire will go down again? What we're saying, that's much better. I remember coming here last time and showing you how this was crap mode. And even just painting the orange red makes the back end completely different. It actually ties in so well. I'm happy with the result. I'm super happy with them. I'm still going to experiment with other ones. And I'm still going to try and do some purple ones. Because that would look sick. If it leaks again, then... Gosh, I don't know, people. I don't know whether to stick with them 
get them painted, powder coated, and then send them on again because the paint is just flaking everywhere. That might be why the wheel isn't sealing. And also, it, it just looks horrible. It doesn't do the car any justice. Um, or whether I just buy another set of wheels and just send it, but I have put 120 quid into these so far due to the tires. And then obviously the back ones need doing as well. I think, yeah, here we go. Cheers, pal. <laughs> Let's push that in. <laughs> Oh, I sealed it earlier. Okay, don't, no, no, no. Oh, just made it worse. Don't do that. No! Go away! Let's give you one last look before we hit rolling retro. I do need to give this a quick detail as well. I've just got watermarks from where I gave it a quick clean, but who cares? That wheel can go F itself, hopefully. That can last. If it doesn't, I will take my wheel with me, just in case. Hello Reds, yeah. That is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. Make sure you come back every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. for an upload. Also, make sure you're on the Mark Free Golf Reddit page because I'm gonna start doing some Reddit content, but you'll have to wait for that. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, what